No, but it's good. But I, uh, I live in Dublin now, and uh, I'm renting in Dublin, which can be tough. There's a bit of a rental crisis going on there. And you'll see in the news over there, you know, like all these horror stories about like dodgy landlords and overcrowded apartments. I've been quite lucky because there's only three of us in my bed. Um, <laughs> oh, it could be worse. They're a lovely couple. They are. They're good lads. Uh, <laughs> but rent's a big topic at the minute. You know, climate's another big sort of buzz topic in the news. You know, there was all these climate marches before Christmas, right? We had a big one in Dublin, and uh, I couldn't make it, unfortunately. I was in work, and I was quite sad about not making the march, because one of my main passions outside of comedy is marching. Um, you know, I'll march for anything. You know, I march for gay marriage, you know. But don't get me wrong, I march against them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite the sport in Northern Ireland, the old marching, right? They have a big day once every, uh, once every summer called the 12th of July. If you're not familiar, I was trying to explain the 12th of July in Belfast to a couple of American friends of mine, right? I said, it's a bit like the 4th of July in America. Only in Belfast, they have the fireworks at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the North has come on a good bit in the last few years, you know, it had a bit of a bad rep, but, you know, it's got a lot better. We actually did, you know, legalize gay marriage there recently, and uh, I was actually reading in the news that it's now the second most progressive country in Ireland. So it's, uh, <laughs> so it's good. But I do like Dublin, but I live in a little bit of a rough part of the city, right? Sort of recommended where I live, that I chain my bin to the wall <laughs> so that nobody steals my bin. And then it's also recommended I do the same with the outside ones. But I live in a bit of a rough area, right? And my house got broken into when I was a kid. So ever since then, I've been paranoid. You know, so when I leave the house now unattended, I'll put everything on, you know, I'll put the lights on, put the alarm on, put the oven on, just <laughs> put it all on, right? My housemate, the know-it-all cock, he says to me, <laughs> he says to me, what I like to do when I'm leaving the house unattended is put on a podcast up in my bedroom. So if someone breaks in downstairs, it sounds like there's a conversation going on upstairs. And they'll leave. I was like, is that really going to work? Just picture two guys break into my house downstairs. They creep up the stairs. Get up to my bedroom door for a listen. Go. We need to get out of here. Why? Joe Rogan's in there. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like he's talking to Mike Tyson. We should probably fucking leave. <laughs> should should have picked next door. <laughs> <laughs> 